Okay. If you haven't seen this video series before, it's uh, it's broken up into pieces because the original is just so incredibly long. Uh, by the way, if you want to see this video in its entirety, without interruption, um, go to Christian Prince's YouTube channel, Christian Prince uh, YouTube channel, and. Um, this video is called Muhammad Quran is amazing. Muhammad Quran is amazing. He means Muhammad's Quran is amazing, but he's a native Arabic speaker, so it's uh, seems like uh, something he would write, you know. But the, one of the reasons why I'm having him on is because he is a native Arabic speaker, so a Muslim can't say, well, if you only knew the Quran, you'd know blah, blah, blah. If, if you only knew original uh, Arabic, you'd know whatever. Um, can't pull that, because this guy knows Arabic, and more importantly, he knows the Quran and Hadith inside and out. Very informative. I've had him as a teacher for at least 10 years, actually over a decade, uh, when he used to go by the name of Investigate Islam. He, he, his videos were so good, at exposing Islam, that Muslims would actually not only delete it, get his 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 videos deleted, and the first one being about Takiyah, which allows Muslims to lie, thanks to Quran 328, uh, 616, and the 2, 225, but they even closed his accounts. Uh, they've closed at least five of them. But for some reason, they're not closing this one. And they're not closing the other one called the Arabian Prophet. And I think he has another one called Al Aleg 2 or something like that. But anyway... To me, he's up there with David Wood and Sam Shamoon, and uh, actually, he's, he's, he, I think he's the best, because, again, he's a native Arabic speaker. So, anyway, uh, he was so good that, he is so good that I thought I would uh, make a series out of his long videos that are too long to download. So, here it goes. <clears throat> Tonight, no, he gave more details. He say, read with me carefully, please. When one third of the night is left, which means Allah will come not only in the night, at the end of the night. So he have like a window of two hours. So we are not talking about thousands of years and millions of years. We are talking about hours now. But yet Allah still is in the space. People on YouTube, do you understand what I'm saying or is is not clear? <clears throat> Anyone don't understand? <coughs> Anyone don't understand? If the Muslim trying to convince us that there's a wormhole and 50,000 years is equal to uh, billions of years and etc. blah 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 then how Allah he come in the third part of the night which is a window of two hours maximum, three hours maximum If the if the if the night is eight hours, third of the eight hours, what the number will be? Guys, the third of eight hours, what will be? If the night is eight hours, maximum two to point five or three hours maximum. But the Muslims trying to fool us about. 1,000 a year, and then it's 50,000 years, and that is equal to billions of years. But look with me, how the Muslims get themselves busted more. Didn't we just read the article before this one was measuring the day of Allah of billions of years? Correct? Guys, focus, focus with me. In the article before this, one day for Allah was equal to what, according to Muslims? According to Muslims, that Allah created the earth and the heaven and the universe in 13.4 in billion years. You remember? How come at that time it was not relative? To make it simple for you.
if a day is equal to 1,000 years. And then the Muslims, they try to make the 1,000 year equal to billions. I mean, are we using the same scale? How come here in this verse, one day is equal to 50,000 years exactly? But in the other verse, one day is equal to billions of years. Guys, am I, am I confusing you? Focus with me, please. Focus with me. Listen, let me go back to the article. Let me go. This is the article we read before. Just to remind you. The Muslim, they say that the earth took third of the time of the creation of the universe, which means, or the age of it, is 4.57, as you see with me in the screen. Right? Which means, every day for Allah is equal to billions of years. So how we know how many days? According to the Muslims, that a day for Allah, read with me in the screen, please. This is not my measurement. One day for Allah is equal to 2.28 billion. Do you see it? People, do you see it? How come this has changed in the other article? One day became equal to 50,000 years. It's not, it's not about billions of years no more. It's amazing how they lie, amazing how they fabricate, amazing how they use numbers. If we take this, every day is equal to 2.28 billion a year. That means should, this is the same number should be used in the second article. We go back to the article there. Let us see if they are using the same number. I'm going to copy the number and I'm going to search for it in the article. Hold on. I want to see how the number appear here. It does not appear in the whole article. Suddenly, suddenly the number 2.8 is not appearing in the whole article. Suddenly one day is not equal to 2.8 billions. One day is equal to 50 lunar year. People, do you see it? How in the same website, in the same pages, one page says that one day for Allah is equal to 2.5 or 2.8 billion, and in the other page, one day of Allah is equal to 50,000 years in the lunar time. If there's anyone that did not get it yet, Uh, people in YouTube, anyone did not did not get it? Let me go slowly. Let me go slowly. This is the same website, guys. The same website we are reading from. All right? The same website. All right. The miracle of the Quran. We are reading the time relatives and the age of the universe. In this article, the Muslims, they claim that one day for Allah is equal to a specific number. Trying to prove science. All right, look with me what they say. In the same page, actually. Read with me. Six days passed past at God's throne, but we measured it as 13.7 billion years. That each day at God's throne measure around 2.28 billions. So what is the measurement for every day for Allah based on the Muslims article? 2.28 billion. But the stupid Abdul in the same page, just to scroll down, he's trying to prove to us something different. 
that one day for Allah is equal to 50,000 lunar year. <laughs> Are you following with me? Are you guys following? I mean, I don't know, I need to repeat it 10,000 times. Do you see that deception? How I did not even flip the page, it's the same page. I did not even move to different page. It's the same website, the same page. How one day for Allah was a second ago equal to billions of years, and now one day for Allah is equal to 50,000 years, and they say lunar, not me. I'm not the one who is using the word lunar. Isn't it amazing? Lunar? If you don't believe that they are using the word lunar, let me show it to you again. Oh, Lord have mercy. Guys, do you see it? Is it clear? And, and the Muslim themselves, actually, they are making it for us in a black. Do you see it? 50,000 years versus one day, which is a speed of 12 lunar orbit years. Which means this is the month. Every month is equal to 12,000. So, out of the gravity field, for 50,000 years versus a day, traveling at the lunar, 12,000 lunar. So, this is about lunar timing. But in the article before it, it was about billions of years and now it's about a lunar year you see how they lie and how stupid their lies is they think you are stupid you will not remember what is mentioned in the previous article you know what i mean they think okay we flipped the page now this guy is stupid he will not remember what we said before we said many lies and how we can remember them all you know people are mostly naive you know, they don't really remember what mentioned there. They will not connect the dots together. Okay. Continue. Bye.